But look, I mean, we can find extra people coming across the channel by having inflatable boats, but the fact is they're all still here and mm. they're all still processed. So in a, in a way, I mean, it doesn't matter very much. All, all they're doing really is funneling them through the process and through the system. Um, and one thing I would say about the channel, which is worth pointing out, is that the reason there's some people coming off the channel is partly because we've been successful as a country in stopping people coming on lorries and Eurostar mm. through Dover. So I think in order to get a full picture of what's happening, we ought to probably compare the number of people who are coming through the, the channel, as it were, and the channel it, together and see how that marries with the past. But, of course, what happened in the past was that we didn't know who was coming through because it was slipping into but, the country. But, but I can't believe 45,000 a year were coming in on the back of lorries, Norman. Well, I don't know how many were coming in back of lorries, but what I do know is that, for example, at Newhaven, which used to be my constituency, yeah. uh, there was a sign-up in, in, uh, at Newhaven Port saying, uh, with a phone, saying, uh, if you come without uh, authority, use this phone to report yourself, oh, uh, which is hardly going to be very effective. And then when one of them did actually report themselves, they said, there's nobody here, uh, we'll give you money to get on a train, go to Luna House in mm. Croydon, but they never turned up. Mm. So I mean, it has been pretty slack for many years. And there's been a big fuss in, near you in, in, I think it was Brighton or Hope, with some of those young child refugees who've been pinched or yes. kidnapped or this smuggled from the hotel. Why are any of these refugees in a hotel, why don't they put them in as they keep talking about from holiday camps, secure areas? Well, they should be in secure areas, but, but there's a, there's a, they should be in humane secure areas. What yeah. was happening before, uh, back in my day in a home office, was they were being treated effectively as prisoners, and that was horrendous for those children. Um, now that now they've gone the other extreme and put in hotels. And you're right, actually, what they should be in is a secure environment, but a humane one, because a lot of these kids are really quite young. Mm. Mm, it is yeah, very concerning. And, and, of course, they're now being captured and taken away for uh, sexual exploitation in many yeah. things. Mm.